Welcome and interview by DJSPRC. We're back here with Project Cherokee. And I wanted to show you guys something, but before we continue, I would like to mention this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com. Don't forget to check out their website, that's awesome. And the link will be down below. What I wanted to show you is how to get basically chrome effect in your light buckets. Even if you wanted to put the inner grill here, chrome, if you wanted to, it's extremely achievable. In the past, you needed to maybe grab uh, silver or even some uh, kind of a chrome paint that was a little bit of a pain to do, but now it's achievable like you see here. Try to bring it a little bit closer. Hoping she wants to focus. It is reflective and it's not a sticker. It's not an insert. It's actually chrome paint, liquid chrome. It's from the manufacturer Moloto. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Moloto. And it's a marker. Basically, you shake it. Remove this, I just keep it there. And it's just, a, it's, a, it's a marker. And when you apply it, it basically goes a little bit grayish and then becomes chrome. This will make the light a little bit more realistic once I put my LED in and put the cap on top and have the effect of reflective. Instead of trying to put a tape like a metal tape or uh, even duct, uh, put duct tape, but there's a tape that's a metallic uh, tape that you put for ducts or heating vents, things like that. I tried that in the past, it does work, but it's a pain to cut and try to mold. This is just apply and pretty much forget about it. Now what I'm going to do here, I know where my lens stops inside the bucket itself. I'm going to definitely try not to surpass that. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do the bottom part. And if you do forget spots, yes, you can go after. And it won't remove the finish, nothing. I'm just gonna make sure to get every spot that I can. And like I said, I'm stopping just before I know where the lens goes. Now, sorry if you may be not be able to see exactly what I'm doing, but I'm sure you're getting what I'm doing. <clears throat> now, this is where taking your time is totally worth it. I'm trying to use uh, my light here. I'm trying here. I'll go back. I don't want to put it on the physical grill itself. I want to keep it when I'll put the lens that you won't see the chrome paint physically uh, outside. Okay, there you go. And it you're going to apply the first time you're going to apply it you're going to be skeptic a bit but once you applied it and physically looked at it you're going to say wow there's a lot of people that i know where is were using another product um to try to achieve chrome and it worked i do have a bottle somewhere here in the shop Stop using it because it was more 
difficult to use as a product itself. Just make sure I get everywhere. It had time a little bit to dry and here you go you got the chrome one now to do the bottom one now there is different thickness of these guys here this is basically a two mil uh, tip now they do have a one mil a two mil and a four mil uh, I didn't have any one mil they didn't have any one mil in stock at my local hub shop that is great hobbies uh, I grabbed a two mil, but what I did with a tube pick, I went in the center without again touching the sides, and I applied a little more than I needed. And before it dried, I grab my toothpick and use it as a paintbrush. That way I can spread it. You could use physically a paintbrush if you wanted to. I didn't want to uh, ruin the paintbrush. Now if we see if it gets dried up. You can physically add some. There we go. And just spread it around. A little bit nicer on my other side. Add a little bit more chrome paint on this side here. And just spread it around. I try to put it some around where the bulb is going to be itself, the LED. That way we know it's going to reflect. And that's good enough. And there's still some on it, the Q-tip, but the Q-tip, the, did I say Q-tips? Toothpick. I might have said Q-tips. If I did, I do apologize. Toothpick. And there you go, guys. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, post that down below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And if you look around here, you'll see there's a button with a bell. If you want to be notified next time I upload a video, hit the thumbs up if you did like this video. I do appreciate that. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe and go check out greathobbies.com.